And the Debrinic Channel is back, and today we are talking about the Colorado River system. We will be talking about Lake Powell, Lake Mead, Lake Havasu, and we also will be talking about the Flaming Gorge and other lakes as well. So stick around for all that. But before we do, we're going to start off at windy.com. And while it has been so wet out here in the West, it's really, really good, and we're making really good progress. And we're going to roll into windy.com, and we'll be looking at the water levels here, and we're looking at Aspen 1.08, Steamboat Springs 1.22, Fort Collins over here 6.1 inches. Now is this new snow? You may be asking yourself, well of course it is. It's still springtime in the Rockies and more snow is good news. You're talking about another almost foot of snow over in Ville. Aspen's going to get a foot of snow. 10.8 inches in Steamboat Springs and up here by the Flaming Gorge 13.9 and then Salt Lake City. Let me talk about Salt Lake City for a second. For those of you who don't know, Salt Lake City has been flooding lately. There has been a lot of floods. People's homes have been in jeopardy. There was some flooding in the area. Plenty of people are like, well, I've never seen it like this before. Well, now you have. Some older folks have, I'm sure. But more snow on the way, and then they say that the snow is going to continue. Now, I'm not sure what the Salt Lake's doing, but it has to be coming up because all this snow has been melting, and it's more than it has been lately. I also want to talk about South Dakota real quick look at this a big snowstorm still possible to come is the gfs calling for the same amount not so much there but in the colorados they are the gfs has been pretty accurate this year look at this over here by vel they're talking 22 inches so we'll see which one comes to pass and which one wins out but that's a lot of precipitation we go back to the european model here and you can see the difference here so we will see time will tell what ultimately happens let's check out the temperatures for the next several days you can see it's pretty cold there so there's not a lot of melt yet yeah, cold fluctuates up until Sunday where it gets up to 39 so some snow melt will happen that day we go out then it gets cold again we'll keep scooting here you can watch it go up and down here 24 so it's not warming up there yet as long as it stays in the 20s and just every once in a while kick up to 42 you'll get some snow melt through the day a lot of this here in the area some will melt and then it'll dry up we're getting closer to the May 1st when it really really starts to melt so we'll be waiting for that watching that see what happens ultimately and that is all I have for windy.com and now we're going to go check out the numbers for this morning been up early getting it all done and we will do that right now we are doing a Colorado River update Flaming Gorge Lake Navajo Blue Mesa Lake Powell Lake Mead Lake Mojave and last but not least my favorite Lake Havasu and hello to all my friends down there I hope all is well and now we're going to roll out to percentage of capacities for all the lakes before we get going here and we're going to start off at the Flaming Gorge. It's currently at 69.63. We're getting really close to the 70% mark. That's pretty incredible. The next one is Blue Mesa, and it has come up some. It's at 32.36. It's up more than it was last time, and we'll be talking about that in a bit. Lake Navajo's at 51.04%. Strawberry Lake's at 72.24. McPhee's at 48.21. Lake Powell is at 23.98, and I got stories on Lake Powell, so stick around for that. Lake Mead's at 20 28.6 which is coming up because what's going on at Lake Powell and we'll be talking about that in the middle of the video so be waiting for that. Lake Mojave 79.65 and then Lake Havasu is at 95.3 now Lake Mojave has come up and Lake Havasu is about the same where it always is and for the total we're getting closer to that 34% mark we're at 33.96 so we're getting really close to that so we'll be waiting for that to happen later this year and we go out to the Flaming Gorge dashboard next and and we are going to start off at the Flaming Gorge line graph here, 2021, 22, and 23. And here it is. And you can see that it's really come up. We're going to zoom in here. Now, I know right here it looks like it's going down, but clearly it's going up. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know why the graph's doing that, but it really is going up still. So that's fantastic news. We are gaining. You can see we are at a low right about here. So that where we stand. And we continue to roll on here. We are going to go out to the water level and for Flaming Gorge. The water level is currently 6,007.39 feet MSL. Thursday, April 13, 2023 at 
12 a.m. The level is 32.61 feet below full pool of 6,040. Now they haven't updated this yet as of this morning, so we're still getting Thursday's ratings. It'll probably be there later today, if not already. So if you want to see an updated, go check out the links below and it will be there. Changes since yesterday, this lake has come up 0.26 inches in the last 24 hours. Good news there, and we can continue to roll. Just like I said, the lake has been coming up and uh, 6047 is full pool on this date in 2021 the level was 6025.39 last year was 6018.75 and today's level is 6007.39 feet your inactive pool is 5871 your dead pool is 5740 and we continue to roll on flaming gorge is down 11.36 feet from one year ago flaming gorge is down eight feet from two years ago. Flaming Gorge is 136.39 feet from an active pool. Flaming Gorge is 267.39 feet from Deadpool and we continue to roll on here. We continue to roll on to your inflows and your outflows. Your current inflows are 3,768. Your current outflows are are 802 and we continue to scoot along here flaming gorge is up 1.36 feet in the last 14 days and now we are going out to lake navajo's dashboard now we are at lake navajo's dashboard and you can see beautiful lake navajo and we go out to lake navajo 2021 22 and 23 and here is your line graph and check this out this is incredible this thing is actually higher than it was two years ago we are moving in the right direction Lake Navajo is on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Crazy, crazy on fire. Here we go. We are Navajo's water level today is 6,034.09 feet. MSL Friday, April 14, 2023. At 12 a.m., the level is 50.91 feet below full pool of 6,085. Your full pool level is 6,085 and... In 2021, the level was 6,034. In 2022, the level was 6,019.94. Today's level is 6,034.09. Your dead pool level is 5,775, and we continue to roll. Now we are at Lake Navajo here, and you can see that your inflows are currently 7,062, and your outflows are currently 290, and we continue to roll on here. We are now at Blue Mesa's dashboard and you can see that blue mesa is even on the rise in, as well in 2021 22 and 23 and you can see just like over here blue mesa is not going down as i'm not sure what's going on there but that is not correct it's still on the increase so i'll show you what i'm talking about right now as we roll out to blue mesa's water level the water level at blue mesa is currently 7450.40 feet msl friday april 14 2023 at 12 a.m the level is 68.60 feet below full pool of 7519 and we continue to roll on here your full pool level is 7519.40 in 2020, the level was 7,482.46. 2021, the level was 7,464.12. 2022, last year, the level was 7,436.81. Today's level is 7,450.40. So this thing is on the increase. Your Deadpool is 7,385. Blue Mesa is up 13.59 feet from one year ago. Blue Mesa is down 13.72 feet from two years ago blue mesa is down 32.06 feet from three years ago and blue mesa is 92.40 feet from deadpool and we continue to roll to your inflows and your outflows your current inflows are 2102 your current outflows are 295 so that's why it's increasing they have really shut off the valve releasing very little through the day 295 cfs is nothing compared to some of these other lakes that's just very little and blue mesa is up a 1.56 in the last 14 readings and we continue to roll out to Lake Powell's dashboard and Lake Powell let me tell you Lake Powell is down and it's crazy they're continuing to let water out whereas so we're over here you can see that the water is dropping and it's dropping like a rock and they're letting water out on purpose because they know that there's so much snow in the Rockies which we will be talking about here about halfway through we're going to go talk about that the amount of snow that's in the Rockies and this is going to have a big impact 
on Lake Powell this summer. So what they're doing is not really secretively. They're just releasing more water down to Lake Mead. And now Lake Mead is starting to increase. They're trying to equal out the lakes is what I've read. So we will see if that happens. And that is just insane. And changes since yesterday. This thing's up 0.16 so this thing's actually starting to increase now. It really depend on the weather and whatnot. We are at Lake Powell's water level, and the water level today is 3,520.08 feet MSL. Friday, April 14, 2023 at 12 a.m. The level's 179.92 feet below full pool at 3,700. And here we go. If we can compare the last three years here. Full pool is 3,700. And 2021, the level was 3,564.58. Last year, was 3,522.69. We are down two feet or so. We'll talk about that in a minute. 3,520.08. Your inactive pool is 3,490, so you're fairly close to that. Your dead pool is 3,370, so you're a long way from dead pool, luckily, but you're still pretty close to an active pool. We continue to roll on here. Lake Powell is down 2.61 feet from one year ago. Not too bad, considering some of these were really far. So Lake Powell is down 44.50 feet from two years ago. Lake Powell's 30.08 from inactive pool, and Lake Powell is 150.08 from dead pool. So Lake Powell is down 1.85 in the last 14 days. Lake Powell's inflows and outflows are currently 18,000. So this thing has really started to ramp up. That's pretty good inflows. 18,000, and it'll probably get higher as the summer comes along. As we get closer to July, we'll definitely be watching that. Your outflows are 12,966, so that's incredible. Now let's go look at the snowpack up above Lake Powell and see how much it's at currently, and we will do that right now. As I was telling you, this thing peaked out around April 8th, and it did something similar in 2019, and it really crashed hard. We're almost back down to 2019 levels here, So, but there's more snow coming, so it may get a little peak here beyond that. We might have a little pop-up here somewhere. As you can see, in 2019, it popped back up around May 2nd. And they're talking about more snow within the next 10 days. So, very good possibility that we could get some more snow here and this may come back up. But you can see that we're really starting to crash down. We're about down to 20 inches. So, we're currently at 145.02 for the April 15th date. We are 54% through the water year. 197 days into the water year of 365. So, ultimately, we will We'll be watching this to see where we end up, but pretty good for this day. Still above normal, still above the average by far. The average for this day, 102 for this day, and we are 145. So that is pretty incredible. This is over the last 10 years, so we'll watch this and see what ultimately ends up happening. They're going to get a ton of watering. It's starting to reflect in the lakes already, definitely at the Flaming Gorge and Navajo as well. So let's go back out to the charts here, and we go down to Lake Mead next, and we're going to Lake Mead's dashboard now and we continue to roll on here as we are at Lake Mead's dashboard we are going out to the the graph here in 2021 22 and 23 here we are and you can see that this is kind of not like other years this has been they got a little bit of a bump here unlike other years like 2021 where it came up and then it started to fall off but this has kind of been back and forth it's been up and down all winter it hasn't really come up it hasn't really gone down now lake pal has secretly or unsecretly because i found the information has started releasing more inflows because they're trying to balance the two lakes so they can put more water in lake mead and have water for lake pal as well i don't know how much this is going to bring up the lake they definitely have different forecasts this has been updated since april 1st or so they have done this so it is the middle of the month i'm not sure where the lake will ultimately be but hey if they're going to release more water into lake mead everybody's happy about that it's better than talking about the drought consistently so good news for a change we'll be watching this let's go see how much the lake has come up in the last 24 hours the lake has come up 0.1 and lake mead's water level today is currently 1046.56 feet msl saturday april 15 2023 at 3 a.m the level is 182.44 feet below full pool of 1229 and, and now we go out last three years and 1229 is full pool and 
in 2021, the level was 1,082.40. Last year was 1,058.36. Today's level is 1,046.56, and that's good news. Inactive pools, 950. Dead pools, 895 and we continue to roll out one year ago the water level was 11.80 feet higher two years ago the level was 35.84 feet higher inactive pools 96.56 feet away dead pools 151.56 feet away and lake mead is up 0.47 in the last 14 days so this thing not quite not quite a half a foot but we're pretty close your inflows currently at lake mead as of yesterday I find these at two different sites. So yesterday the inflows were at 15,839 and outflows were 11,962. So that would indicate an increase, not a decrease. So that's good. And uh, we continue to roll on here. We are going down to Lake Mojave's dashboard now. And here we go, Lake Mojave, 2021, 22, and 23. The level is up from last year, as you can see. Lake Mojave is down 0.4. The water level at Lake Mojave is 644.04 feet MSL. Saturday, April 15, 2023, at 4.45 a.m. The level is 2.96 feet below full pool of 647. And now we're going to go down to Lake Havasu's dashboard as we roll out to Lake Havasu's dashboard 2021, 22, and 23. Here is today's level is down 0.9 in the last 24 hours. And Lake Havasu's water level is currently 447.77 feet MSL. Saturday, April 15, 2023 at 4.30 a.m. The level is 2.77 feet above full pool of 445. Havasu and beautiful picture and thank you to supercharge for giving me the access to find this location such a beautiful place need to get back there soon supercharge and inflows and outflows your inflows are 13,295 your outflows are 12,822 and that is all i have thank you guys for stopping by i hope you enjoyed the video we will see you on the next one god bless